click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends i welcome you all to the subject electromagnetic field theory we are with chapter number 10 that is the uniform plane waves in the previous chapter we have gone through the maxwell equation giving us the information regarding the electrostatics and steady magnetic field shifted to time varying fields so in time varying fields in the togetherness of electric and magnetic field we have the electromagnetic wave so maxwell equation we have first of all converted to the phasor form in the first topic and derived the wave equations now we have the wave equations into the general conducting medium taking the conductivity terms to be equal to zero we modify the wave equations to the perfect dielectric medium for example we can talk about the free space now for the wave equations we have taken the solution into the general conducting medium along with the determination of parameters that is alpha beta gamma eta the velocity v and the wavelength lambda those give us the information regarding the exact propagation of the wave into the given medium so we have the generalized formula of attenuation constant alpha the phase shift constant beta and so on we have checked them along with the loss tangent term that decides whether the given medium is of conductive nature or the dielectric nature so we have all the formula for the conductive as well as the good dielectric medium so based on to those formula we have solved one problem statement into the previous video also let us take the next problem so problem statement is the loss tangent and relative permittivity values for a non magnetic material are given by 0.05 and 5.2 respectively assuming them constant for 2 megahertz up to 50 megahertz for the value of f evaluate alpha and lambda for we have two parts to evaluate a is f is equal to 3 megahertz and b f is equal to 30 megahertz so this is a very simple problem statement in the problem statement let us check what is the given data goes to us so the given data is the loss tangent it is a unitless quantity as well as the relative permittivity it is also a unitless quantity so loss tangent holds the value 0.05 0.05 is to the loss tangent loss tangent we denote by sigma upon omega epsilon that decides the material whether conductive nature or dielectric nature so sigma upon omega epsilon is equal to 0.0.05 we are given the relative permittivity so we denote it by epsilon r and it is also given with 5.2 hence we shall be writing the complete permittivity epsilon is equal to 5.2 times epsilon 0 the value constant is known to us now with these two given data we have to assume that the frequency value is between 2 to 50 megahertz to have these two values to be constant or fixed now what is to be evaluated what is to be found into this problem statement we are required to determine the value of alpha and lambda alpha denotes the attenuation constant it gives us the information how much losses to the amplitude of the electric field or magnetic field intensity components occur while wave propagation since the alpha attenuation constant and the lambda that is wavelength we have to determine provided the condition is of f equal to 3 megahertz and 30 megahertz into the latter part so let us begin with the a part so for a part i first of all note down the values sigma upon omega epsilon which denotes the loss tangent that is 0.05 relative permittivity epsilon is equal to epsilon r is equal to 5.2 now the material is given to us that is of non magnetic type so non magnetic material so not having the magnetism we substitute mu r is equal to 1 hence mu equal to mu 0 directly we can substitute here now we require alpha and lambda so now we take the formula for alpha that is generalized formula given by omega under root 
it will be mu epsilon divided by 2 in the bracket again we have the under root it is 1 plus sigma square upon omega square epsilon square minus 1 so alpha is attenuation constant measured into neighbors per meter here sigma square omega square epsilon square means it is a square of loss tangent which is given to us with this particular value so epsilon we can have the substitution epsilon is equal to 5.2 times epsilon 0 and mu we can have the substitution equal to mu suffix 0 here so all the things are known to us the omega value we can determine with the frequency value so for part a f is equal to 3 megahertz mega is equal to 10 to the power positive 6 so substituting the values for alpha so alpha will be equal to we shall be having 2 pi into 3 megahertz that is why 3 into 10 to the power 6 now it is in multiplication with the under root here mu 0 that is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 divided by 2 into the value of epsilon 0 10 to the power minus 9 upon 36 pi into the relative permittivity 5.2 and in the bracket here we have under root of 1 plus square of loss tangent that will be 0 0.05 square it is minus 1 the second term into this particular bracket so we have substituted all the values that are necessary to obtain the attenuation constant alpha so having the simple calculations the cancellation of pi is here taking addition and the under roots we obtain alpha to hold the value 3.58088 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 so as attenuation constant measured into neighbors per meter i mentioned this particular unit to it so it has a non zero value of attenuation constant hence as the wave propagates into the given material medium so it will have certain losses so that will be accounted for unit length like this now the second parameter we are required to determine is lambda lambda is nothing but the wavelength and it is given by the formula that is 1 upon f into under root we have mu epsilon divided by 2 in the bracket again we have under root 1 plus sigma square upon omega square epsilon square it will be having the plus 1 so this is the formula so if we substitute all the values to obtain the lambda we shall be getting 1 upon to the denominator we first of all have f so it is 3 into 10 raised to the power 6 inside the under root we have 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 7 divided by 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 9 divided by 36 pi into 5.2 and in the bracket we have 1 plus it will be uh, 0 0.05 square plus it will be 1 so substituted all the values the simplified value of lambda representing the wavelength we can obtain lambda is equal to 43.8392 meters so this way we have obtained the alpha and lambda so alpha value i have shown with the earlier so alpha is equal to 3.5808 into 10 to the power minus 3 neighbors per meter and lambda value is also i have given that is 43.8392 meters so for the problem statement number 2 a part we are completed for f frequency 3 megahertz we have both the values alpha and lambda now let us begin to start for part b we are provided the different value of f that is 30 megahertz so for 30 megahertz we take down the first of all the given values so for part b 
sigma upon omega epsilon will be the same 0 0.05 epsilon r will be equal to 5.2 the same the mu r will be equal to 1 and f is equal to that is 30 megahertz 30 into 10 to the power plus 6 hertz now for determination of alpha so for alpha we again write the formula alpha is equal to omega under root here mu epsilon divided by 2 in the bracket it will be under root 1 plus sigma square upon omega square epsilon square minus 1 so substituting the values we obtain it is a 2 pi into 30 into 10 raised to the power 6 so 2 pi f that we have substituted for omega under root it will be mu will be 4 pi into 10 raised to power minus 7 into 10 raised to power minus 9 divided by 2 into 36 pi so this completes mu epsilon divided by 2 into 5.2 and in the bracket in the under root we have 1 plus 0 0.05 bracket square minus 1 for alpha so calculating the values we obtain 35.8084 into 10 raised to power minus 3 therefore the alpha for the second part that is f is equal to 30 megahertz we obtain 35.8084 into 10 to the power minus 3 neighbors per meter hence i outline this particular result now the second parameter we want the second parameter is lambda so for determination of lambda we had the formula 1 upon it was f under root of it was mu epsilon divided by 2 inside the bracket we had that is 1 plus sigma square upon omega square epsilon square it was plus 1 so substituting the values we obtain 1 upon it will be 30 megahertz that is by 30 into 10 to the power 6 in the under root mu epsilon will be 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into 10 to the power minus 9 into 5.2 divided by 2 into 36 pi in the bracket we have 1 plus 0 0.05 in the under root and this one is squared plus 1 we have so substituted all the values of lambda the lambda value we can obtain that is lambda is equal to 4.3839 so as this is a measurement of distance covered into one cycle i have substituted the unit of measurement to be in meters so thus we have lambda and alpha if we get back to the problem statement this is our problem statement so now we are finished with obtaining the values of alpha and lambda for part b also so for part b we have the alpha 35.8084 into 10 to the power minus 3 neighbors per meter and the lambda 4.3839 meters so in this problem the loss tangent value was already given to us whereas the previous one to this one we had to determine the value of loss tangent in the subsequent video we are going to take a problem based on to the skin depth that we have seen into the wave propagation in the good conducting medium so i hope you are understanding well the wave propagation into this particular chapter the uniform plane waves for getting such more information and practice more problems based on to the subject electromagnetic field theory you can subscribe to ekeda channel thank you